I feel like Mars to play Martha teams really well, at least on the punish side of things, you just need to be always ready to be like, okay, I can get a down air here, I can get a really quick edge guard here, or and I can like save my teammate here. Like mm -hmm. you can't you can't be thinking like I wanna go in, I wanna like, you know, I wanna I wanna destroy them. And a lot about playing Marth in teams is just is really opportunity cost. Exactly. Like, yeah, you might get you might only get punished with like a neutral out of shield when you do a bad forward air. Yeah. But that's that's something that you did that then you could do the better the exactly. better approach. Okay. I think um I don't know if Marth is supposed to like because I don't know if Marth is supposed to jump that much in, in teams. Like I my feel my heart says not. But I, I'm not sure. And oh, just, beautiful tip. Yeah, that was just really, really nice. And yeah, double, That's double dip. One. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah. I... DP and Katniff just always ready for those. Yeah. Right there, the four throat up smash. And I think, I think the um, the difference, like, so like double fox, I would say is like really, really hard for Worth in this game. But like with Fox Falco, at least you have the chance to like Falco is one of those characters who really. Can get gimped really easily in teams. Like down tilt by Marth, like literally can kill Fox. Right. You don't have. It's sometimes edge guarding Fox, you need like three yeah. or four. Exactly. But uh, Falco, you can just get sometimes just the one down tilt and forward air, and that's it. And uh, Falco also, you know, when when Falco comes in and interrupts, you know, it's just like a laser or neutral air exactly. or whatever. When Fox comes in and interrupts, it's the Drill neutral air up smash. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So uh, Falco is just Falco's there to build a whole bunch of damage, continue combos. Yeah, honestly, I think uh, in some ways Fox yeah, needs to play, the Fox needs to play a little differently depending on whether he's on the double Wait, Fox or the, the Fox. Right. Okay. So okay. green team with green a team just massive lead right now. I think uh, we have been seeing Marth just sort of get run over a lot of the time. Not like, like even right here, right? It wasn't him getting attacked, but he was just getting hit by all these stray hits. He can't exactly. really scrap I mean, that well. His, his whole stock up to this point has been uh, just exactly what you're saying. Like, he doesn't have that tight spacing to scrap. Yeah, exactly. And like the best thing Marth is going to be able to interrupt with like is going to be like a forward air, which is, I don't know, not amazing. It's not amazing. It's it's often exactly what people expect. Yeah, and it's it's oh, not very fast. Going for uh, the reverse order there. That setup. I think uh, he kind of did a pretty transparent setup into it, and I think kind of is ready for it. Yeah, but it, it, I agree. Uh, if it, if it's low risk enough, I think that's just at this point. You just yeah. have to hope they mess up and be able, be in the position to capitalize on it. And sometimes I feel like unless you're really really good as Marth, and it's like you have to. Sometimes the best you can do is like sort of keep yourself in a one v one with one spacey, and then hope that your teammate is good enough to sort of one v one the other spacey a lot of time. And that's only if like the um, like keeping both locked down in a one v one like potentially could work, but it's, it's really hard. And yeah, this is not looking. Uh, All right, charity stock. Uh, Okie doke. Says 1v1 me, noobs. Yeah, just uh, jab and air. That was actually so sick. Uh, he did the jab and he had enough time to dash back and then think about his follow-up and then go into the nair. Because even if he missed the jab, then he has the dash back and he react. I think uh, DP's jabs are actually, like, he, he's one of the Falcos I watch who, like, when I see him jab, I'm like, that's really, really smart. That's like... I, I think Fox and Falco's jabs both are... They're so... They lead to so many things. Yeah. Um, just speaking, you know, as a puff, my experience yeah, yeah. getting jab up smashed by Fox, it's so it's so terrible. Like, this to can't deal actually with. be a hit confirmed, exactly. right? This can't. I mean, you can smash the eye, but yeah. that's just like a, it's you know it's another level of bullshit. At least make it like unreactable. Like, yeah. At least make it like a commit. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Well, good try, Marth. It's a hard read there. Yeah. It's it's difficult to react. Falco's uh, side B actually starts earlier. Or comes out faster than than Fox's does. Yeah. What do you think about this counter pick? Um, so, this counter pick, what they're saying is we're we're gonna edge guard you better. Yeah. We're gonna get our edge guards together. And um, Marth doesn't need Marth doesn't need the platforms as much as Fox and Falco do. Yeah. And, and, and yeah, the platforms probably do contribute to like the space more to the space's ability to just like run circles around Marth all the time. So. The problem Arth has is that once he gets up, it's hard for him to get down. Exactly. Okay, yeah. 
So, I'd like to see a little bit more grabbing from Red Team. Yeah. Uh, they're doing, I mean, doing a great job so far bringing it basically even. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, shielding in teams is, is what you expect. Yeah. But you can't keep playing it like singles and trying to do shield pressure. you got to get those grabs. Okay. Marth's ready. ready. Uh, okay, so he still has a chance. Yeah. And li like we said, we had both of them locking down in the 1v1. Right. And Fox was able to uh, beat Fox up in, the, in that 1v1. So in that case, it's hard to say. You know, I think I think that's just the part where you got to talk to your teammate and say we're okay keeping up the one on ones in there because they were yeah. both they were both doing it, but they neither of them managed to take that stock. Yeah. So you, you got to wonder whether it was the right decision. Wow. So yeah, another. Okay, if, if if green team loses these two stocks pretty quickly, it's still doable. But if they put on percent, especially onto Marth, right now, it's going to be okay. And Fox is going to live it. Yeah. So this is a. Basically a one stock lead, one and a half. Yeah. I'll call it a one stock lead. Yeah. Uh, that was that was two. Uh, oh, Marth is lucky to be alive right now. So. Okay. And yeah. We've managed to recover, but there's Fox Ooh. and there's Marth. Yeah. Both trapped in the corner. Didn't find a way out. They're just gonna need to get some really nice edge guards here. Yeah, basically. They're at low percent. Or hope for one of the charity stocks. <laughs> I mean, I think. Oh, there's an opportunity. Yeah, okay, so if they. Yeah, basically a gimp on either of them right now makes it doable. Okay, oh. beautiful guy though. And Fox oh. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not the. Oh, when he gets the gimp. Okay, suddenly doable. And they have a sandwich technically, but since they're at high percent, it's really hard to take advantage of that. Ooh, the reverse dash dash. I don't know what the right strategy is for Marth Vox here. Oh, oh, oh my oh, god! Yeah, he gets it. He no! Okay, okay. So, okay. But the this is still a yeah, quite a on either of them to kill one. But if they get a grab, they they need to kill off the grab, basically. I mean, even a neutral air with bad DI is going to kill. Yeah. Oh, and there's the air dash. Yeah, clutch. Clutch win there for me. Brilliant. That was, that was amazing. Mass is really clutching out with that double shine into just uh, going on the shine spike game. And with Falco, like, when, when your teammate's nowhere near and he's up being low on stage, as Fox are just like, oh boy, I eat that for breakfast. Yeah. But you still gotta execute on it, and, uh, I, I mean, I feel like uh, Red Team had those opportunities, and they finally were able to get yeah. the edge cards they actually needed towards exactly, end. Yeah. I'll be right back, I gotta head to my car for yeah, something. For sure. Anyway, so we're heading into game three. Uh, looks like Dreamland. Uh, I think there is... I'm pretty sure they call this, uh... <laughs> All right, what's I, up? I, yeah, basically, I'm pretty sure both TP kind of really, really like this stage. Um, and obviously, it still, it also works out in that Marth does not like the stage at all. Okay. So we're... This is winner's finals? Yeah, this is winner's finals. What do we have left in losers? Uh, we have, uh, think about this, Hammond Light. Uh, and Holy the, shit, yeah, that was Jay! That amazing combo. What the fuck? <laughs> You're nuts. Yeah, Jay is... Uh, You're nuts. <laughs> What a difference. What the fuck was <laughs> that? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> fuck that, man. That was fucking nuts. <laughs> okay. Okay, oh he's gonna finish on this card. I think. Yeah. Why they saw the AM Jordan and Panic? Jordan and Galen, sorry. And then these two. Oh, very good. Okay, word. So it's semis. Finals and yeah, then. So they're playing off stream and then. Yeah. Whoever loses to this plays them? Yes. Word. Yeah. Hurry the fuck up, I wanna go home. We don't have a whole bunch of more time. Do we get kicked out at 12? We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Because we're not gonna be out here until like 12 30. We'll see. I'll see what they say, man. Like, I'm not in charge of this shit. Okay. I've just been drinking all night. Same. I want more beer. Sheridan's back. Let's go. So, uh, Thank you, man. <laughs> Thanks, man. This is awesome. Winter with the lead. Uh, I don't know. Like, basically. Oh, great angle, but yeah. also great, great oh. response. And he manages to interrupt Fox. Oh, wow. And he goes oh. for it. Yeah, he just had a call, and he went oh, for no. it. Wow. This game just. Sheridan. You gotta stop. What did uh, I do? Yeah, you did something. I did something. What the fuck is this? Okay. Uh, he has his jump. He should be fine. Oh, wait. No, he doesn't. I thought he did. Never mind. I'm a dummy. Okay, so 
This is actually even now. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, this... I don't know what happened in this game. I completely failed this commentator to, uh, inform the viewers, but... <laughs> oh, this is a Dreamland match that's gonna last, like, two and a half minutes. Yeah, that is, uh, pretty this crazy. This is, uh... Okay, here's the business they call this a slobber knocker. Oh, yeah. For sure. Okay, oh, 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 red oh, but did he want to like, do the right move. Uh, yeah. Okay, oh, good back. And he gets him on the stage. Oh, good air dodge. Nice air dodge. Clutch. That's always the safe thing, but it's it's so hard to expect. Okay, and they got him both in the corner. What? What no. happened? Oh, no, he's living. Okay, down but he needs to get back to stage. And there we go, the oh. back air. I think that's going to kill them both. Can they do a ladder? Can they do a ladder? Yes, they okay, they're going to get Martha back to stage, but more than a 2v1 versus two spaces. Yeah, and there's the Nair in. Suboptimal DI. Okay. Wow. Going to game five. Game four. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Okay, so... And who's... Whose counter pick was that? Okay, so that was, uh... That was green team. So that was, uh, DP and... Alright, yeah. that's... That's... I think that's a good counter pick. Yoshi's. And now... Okay, I think Jay really likes the stages more. Is the main thing. He really likes the stages more. But this is, as we're talking about, this is a hard one for Marth and teams. Yeah. Just and without Fox a lot of space to move around in. Yeah, Fox can basically recover from anywhere on this stage. Yeah. Like, if he doesn't die straight up, he probably has a way back with Fox. Exactly. Especially with the side platforms that hang out over the ledge. Yeah, exactly. And Randall on top of everything else. Yep. Yeah. And okay. Yeah, Masai's getting over there to uh, put to basically save his teammate. Oh, um, counter, he's gonna be probably I fine. Think... But that did cost him, like, precious, basically opportunity cost again. It cost exactly. him precious seconds. Uh, DP and uh, Katnip were all over, all over his teammate. And I think Marth doing that back throw by the ledge there was the wrong move. I think you want to just stall as much as possible until your teammate gets back, do a four throw, hit the opponent with that, you know, dead weight hitbox, and protect yourself. Oh wow, <laughs> and that was like a okay. frame perfect counter. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> but somehow they come out one stock ahead, or just barely one stock ahead. That Falco, yeah. as soon as he's dead. Okay. And okay, oh, are they gonna get this? Excellent move okay. choice. Good. Oh, that was really nice. Okay, up air, back air. Oh, okay, he was going for. If he, I think if he had hit, I, I think I'm he wanted to pass sure. it to the fox. Oh, I'm also like almost 100 percent sure that uh, the fox was diing in. Mm -hmm. So like if he hit the fair there, like it would have been a down air. So it was like, oh my god, oh wow, that was brilliant. That's like hitting so many clutch shot spikes right now. <laughs> that's just that's just the beauty of Fox. Like, taking that guess is so low risk. And yeah, there's yeah, another exactly. one. Oh, he doesn't get the last part yeah, of it. Yeah, and there goes Mars. But this is a uh, one stock lead for a red team. They're looking to bring this game five. And I really like how they position themselves on those techs. Uh, yeah. Oh, monster. Oh, okay, smash. if they can kill Marth here, they're looking. Marth's got to stay safe. They really oh, need this. Oh, Randall! Oh, oh my god! Wow! Randall, oh, but he still follows up anyway and gets it. Okay. Uh, but three teams got more percent. Yeah, let's... Okay, they so basically... They lose these stocks yeah, really two, quickly. Yeah, two, two quick kills could happen here, or green team could play really nice and uh, let make these stocks last a while. Especially Fox. Force him to have, like, a 2v1. Okay. And... Oh, just quickly hit the up here. That was just a uh, misspaced. Okay, uh... Okay, the yeah, back air gonna, that was, gonna that was a great positioning by the Fox. One he knew he had Fox. a back air for something. Okay. Great DI. And up smash is going to kill Marth. But there goes Fox. Ooh, tips. It's you know, going. Yeah, and then this just... Okay. This is... Uh, I guess green team Marth just has the potential just to give... Uh, yeah, he, oh. That was oh. one counter too many. Yeah. Uh, oh. Wow. That was a great set. DP catnip get off. A little bit of banter DB between DP and DP. Mad that they didn't 3-0 yeah. four stock them every game exactly. or something. I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> I think uh I think someone needs to pick ice climbers next time. Uh I don't think just, anybody just needs for, to just pick for ice climbers. Alright, so DP and Catnip in grand finals. Yeah, but they're clearly vulnerable. Yeah, so now we got uh, Light Ham and then uh, uh, Panic Galen. Panic and Galen. Yeah. And then the winner of that plays just uh, Ace and Rosa. They're on game four of Oh, they're not doing it. Okay. Oh, they're doing it off stream. Alright, okay, so, so we'll have Lucio's semis in just a, bit, just a second. Um, 
looks like. Okay, so. East? Let's talk about the road again. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, we can talk, yeah, we can talk about that. So basically, uh, Light having to go through. So they, who do they get sent to losing by? Light, uh, Ham, send to losing.